hamjambo karibuni sana today we are going to address a very interesting topic how to present yourself in formal situations i know by now you all have a dream you all want to be a successful social entrepreneur and hopefully this course will help you get there at this level in this course you have carefully thought about a lot of questions related to your dreams questions like what product will i bring to the market at what price who will be my customers where will my business be located and how will i promise my product and you have answered all of them besides that among other things you have done a market analysis and a SWOT analysis have thought about your startup costs and about the costs you will encounter when running the business you also have estimated your expenditures and incomes your savings and reservations all this information you will put down in your business plan sawa reading this plan you realize that for your dream to come true you need money a lot of money and a lot of kenya shillings indeed and because you don't have enough money in your own pockets you have to make an appointment with a bank employee to speak to him about a loan that is what this task is about in this task we will address the issue of how to behave in such a formal situation but before doing this i will emphasize that in this task we follow the same procedure as in all the other tasks after my introduction you start by writing down the ideas that you have now about the subject it does not matter what you know about the subject or if you are not sure that what you know is right there is no good or false here just write down what you know and think at this moment it is your story after that i will present extra information on the subject and you will discuss the matter with your fellow students this will give you new knowledge and insight which you will add to your original story having done this i will give you my vision on the subject what i will tell you is not the absolute truth because i happen to be mwalimu so listen critically to what i say if there is something worthwhile in my words add this to your story if not just don't leave it now you have three versions on the same topic take some time to compare these three versions where are they similar where are they different do i still think the same about the topic or did my opinions change if change will this have any consequences for my future behavior at the end of every task you go back to your business plan to be reflecting on the task you pose yourself the following questions again what did i learn from this task that i can use in my business plan is there anything i can add to my plan is there reason to change things i have already written in the plan or even delete If you learned something worthwhile to incorporate in the plan do it if not don't having done this you can check the box so the program knows you finished this task and can continue to the next task so far with respect to the general procedure let us return to the task at hand how to present yourself in formal situations sawa first describe how you would proceed 
what you would do when going to a bank to ask for a loan. How would you prepare? Behave while there? And what would you do after the meeting? Use around not more than 400 words to write your story down. This gives you version one of your story entitled How to Present Myself in Formal Situations. Second, look carefully at the seven video regist uh, registration in which a client meets a bank employee to ask for a loan. Suppose you are the bank employee. For each registration, determine whether or not you would consider to give the man the loan he wants. Think about the why of your decision. Order the registration from 1 to 7. Number 1. Standing for the video where you, as the bank employee, would certainly give the client the loan he asked for. And number seven, for the video where your decision is definitely no way. Two to six are in between these two extremes. Third, discuss your findings with other students in your team. Is there any reason to change your opinion? Fourth, when presentations and discussions made you change your mind on how to behave in formal situations, rewrite your version one. This gives you version two. Fifth, see what I have to say about the topic. Does this give new insights? If the answer is yes, Add them to your story. This gives you the final version 3. Now, compare version 1, 2, and 3. Where are they similar? And where are they different? Do I still think the same about the way I should present myself in formal situations? When changed, Will this change my future behavior? Now for the sixth and last activity in this task, answer the following questions regarding your business plan. Is there anything I learned in this task of consequence for my business plan? Should I add something, change something, or even delete something? If so, do it. When you are ready working on your business plan, mark the checkbox. This therefore automatically brings you to the next task.